You're watching Fox 13's The Place. Thanks for sticking with us. Welcome back. The season of walks, 5Ks, runs, they are upon us. Yes, Margaret Van here to talk about one of them, uh, Cupid's Chase. It is a 5K, fourth year it's been happening in Salt Lake City. I, I want you to tell people, would you mind, Margaret, tell them how do I sign up? Because I want to start and end with that so they know how to get there. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, you can go to cupidschase.org and you can sign up now to register for the 5K. All the proceeds we raise will stay right here in Utah. And I think if you register early, it's $35. If you wait till the day of the race, it's $40 the okay. day of. Okay, see, now we're going we're gonna to end again with that same. Tell me about community options. What do, what do you guys do? What yeah. kind of good do you guys do? Today is actually our 33-year anniversary. The company was founded back on February 9th in 1989 by our CEO, Robert Stack. And we're a nonprofit that supports uh, housing and employment opportunities for individuals with disabilities. Okay. Um, and we've been in Utah for since 2016, and we support about 115 individuals statewide. Wow, I, I hear that, and I, and I want I want to get involved. Are there any volunteer opportunities for the community to come in? You know, kind of like peer-to-peer -peer counseling. Yeah, we're always looking for volunteers. Um, we have offices in both Ogden and West Valley currently, um, and you can find us at um, comop.org is our company website if you're interested in volunteering. Now, the event, I know this is the fourth year, we, we already mentioned it's the fourth year. Can you give me an idea, a sense of what it was like the first time you did it? Has it grown? Where are we at now four years later? Yes, it's definitely grown. This year we're hoping to have about 150 runners, and it's always been in Sugar House Park. It's a great venue. You can bring the whole family. Um, so if for serious runners, it is USA Track and Field certified with the chip timing. Um, so we are offering a participation medal for every single runner. But then additionally, we're going to have trophies for first, second, and third place in both the men's and women's division. And then it's kind of got a matchmaking theme to it. Um, wait, 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 hold up. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting up now. Wait. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, this is really cool. So since the race is held around Valentine's Day, when runners register, they can list their relationship status. Whoa. And if you are available, you can wear one of these wonderful white shirts. And if you are unavailable, you will get one of these red shirts. So you might find a little love connection See, at the race. I'm raising my hand. I'm the kid at the back. Can I sew half white, half red together? <laughs> <laughs> For you, Big Buddha, yes. We'll make the no, I'm just kidding. Absolutely. I'm totally just I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So let, can, you, can you set up uh, what is going to be like there? Do I have to get up early? I mean, you said 110, right? So we need 100. You want to get 150 runners? Yeah, we would love it if more people could register. Okay. You could Let's bring the whole family. Plug them again. Plug them in. How how do I register? Yep, it's so right there. Go to cupidschase.org and you can register today and sign up. Um, race starts at 10 a.m. on Saturday. We're going to have a raffle with all kinds of prizes and giveaways, so I recommend you get there around 9.30 to participate in all the fun. The only race I've ever heard of that you can get a date. <laughs> 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 Woo! Jenny, you can't go. You're engaged. I can't go because I'm married. <laughs> we can just go supervise. Thank you so much for giving us some, a great event and some good news. I really do appreciate it. We'll put a link on the website, fox13now.com. Thanks, Margaret. Thank you. We hope to see you Saturday. For sure.